Hey folks, welcome to Paul Paul John's Homestead Channel. I'm a little excited today. Woke up this morning 12 dozen eggs on the counter. So that got me to thinking, what do I do with all these extra eggs? There's several things you can do. One, you can sell or, or give away your eggs to somebody, maybe in need, neighbor, someone in your community. Two, you can step up your bacon, which I've already been doing a lot of, so <laughs> we got to move on to the next one. You can boil them in large batches, which is exactly what I did this morning. Uh, I boiled, I think it was three dozen eggs, and uh, I use those to make egg salad. Um, I use them in my salads, uh, pasta. You can, whatever you can use a boiled egg for, you can make it fit. I'd like to share something with you about these eggs, as you've probably seen it around the internet. All right, so if you stand this egg up, the pointy end is here, the bigger end is back here. This bigger end, this egg here, see? Take this egg. All right, I'd like to show you something now. This is the same egg, I just tapped it. If you see, there are no cracks here. If you take and do this and you boil this egg, this egg will come loose a whole lot better. So you take them, you boil them for your desired amount of time. I usually do 10 minutes. Plunge them in an ice bath. Put cold water over them, put ice in, in over top of them and get them cool. So these eggs have been in the refrigerator and I just wanted to share with you how easy these eggs peel. Yeah, these are farm fresh eggs. Those of you have a problem with these eggs not peeling uh, very well for you, you can try this method. See how the separates from the egg and peels away. Do another one here. There it is. That easy. Right out of the shell. Hope that helps y'all. And I'll show you this here. <laughs> Bought this a while a long time ago. So this egg here. I'm just doing this to show you what the yolk looks like. How the egg cooked in 10 minutes. And yeah, that's how I like the inside of the center of my egg. They usually come out just about right at 10 minutes. A little softer bowl, a little bit less time. And the other thing I'd like to talk to you about is water glass. Water glass has been around a long time. Anyway, back in the 1800s, it was a way for people to preserve their eggs long term without refrigeration. What I'm gonna do here today is water glass some eggs. It's a method that I can preserve all these eggs to enjoy them later in the year. These will last nine months to a year after you water glass them. All right, so water glass them. I'm gonna put my glasses on. I'm gonna read from this paper. I'd like you to understand that this method is not approved by the FDA. But I'm gonna read this here and I'm gonna provide a link down in the bottom for you to go look at an article yourself. Now this is an article. It's on nal.usda.gov. So I'm not making this up. I just want to provide this for you so you can go down your own rabbit hole and make your own decision. In a 1919 circular, it was put out how to preserve eggs long term. And one way was there's a recipe here it gives you the ratio of one quart to nine quarts of something called sodium silicate, which was a product they sold in that was called water glass. And 
that's what they used and that was the ratio. They also went on to give another method which is preserving with lime. It's two pounds to five gallons of water. Folks, people have used this method since the 1800s. It was actually published in an 1886 uh, book, cookbook. And the recipe's been around for a long time. People have done it. With all that in mind, make your own decision on what you should do. I'm just sharing what I'm doing here for my long-term storage of eggs. I do not want to go through another winter of uh, this past year where people, you know, price gouged eggs and took advantage of the situation. So I'm going to order a glass of eggs. But first, I've got to get my container ready. <clears throat> a good idea to use a, a bucket of some sort a, or a large container. Um, to put your eggs in for any amount of eggs that you're going to be storing and make sure that when you make your solution up that the eggs that you put in your container are covered of at least two inches of the liquid. And looking for my container, I had a nice little surprise. I opened it. I found this. I don't know if y'all know what that is. Probably not. I'm gonna pour it up in these jars here and talk to you about it and clean this container out. So my bees last year, if you remember me talking about my bees last year, I lost all of them. I lost five hives all at once. And you're wondering why five, you know, why bees are related to the... This is honey that I found in storage. It's been there for about two years. I had no idea. I missed my bees this year. You can see this honey has cured. This is raw honey, by the way. It's not pasteurized. I so much missed this this year. Not only did I have this surprise, but I stepped outside this morning and I found another surprise. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert that and talk to you about it. So. I lost all my bees last year. It's five hives all at once. And uh, no way to have any fresh honey last year. So I've really missed it. But this year, another swarm, it looks like with uh, similar genetics as to the ones I've been raising for years, showed back up, which is really, really great because the bees I was raising had a very high tolerance to the, uh, the amount of pests that you have to deal with in my area. Between the varamites and the moths and the high beetles. And did you know honey doesn't go bad as long as it's stored properly. This honey has cured so much and thickened up, a spoon will nearly stand straight up in it. Guys, I wish you could taste that. <laughs> you look how thick it is. It's even pouring a bubble on the bottom. So y'all keep on look out for some bee videos coming up. If by chance I have caught that swarm out there, I have more videos out this year of some bees. And if I don't, I'm definitely considering going and buying a package of bees to uh, get started back in this. I love working with bees, but I've got to tell you, this here is the little reward that you get in the end that makes everything worth it. That is, if you like honey. That there is solid gold, folks. If you can see the inside of that, all that pollen that's in that honey, that there will help with your allergies. I'm going to rinse this bucket in warm water and dilute the little bit of honey that's here. And I'll feed this back to the bees that are out there. This will give them a little boost. Nothing goes to waste. If this water will dilute this sugar, will dilute this honey. And I'll take this mixture and set this in a uh, feeder outside and, then, uh, and they'll come to it and, and feed off the sugar water.
solid gold. If you don't have bees on your homestead, and you think that might be something you're interested in, it is very rewarding in the end when you <laughs> when you collect something this good here. This is solid gold. glass of these, uh, these eggs, you're going to need a good clean container with a lid that can seal the top airtight. You don't want your liquid to evaporate. Moving on to the recipe. The recipe is one quart of water to one ounce of lime. Pickling lime. Pickling lime. Don't skimp. All right, I've got four quarts of water. A tablespoon is a half ounce. So we need eight tablespoons of pickling lime. One. Eight. You get this lime on you, you need to rinse it off so it'll irritate your skin may cause some burning. So now you're gonna take this solution and mix it up. Mix this solution well and carefully. You don't wanna stir that dust up and get it in your eyes and get it all over you. I'm gonna pour a little bit into this container and I'm gonna add my eggs. Now that we mix the solution up, you're gonna put some in, the, in your bucket or your container. You're gonna start adding your eggs. It's important to make sure that you have at least two inches of this liquid above your eggs. You do not want your eggs exposed. Now these eggs are out of the chicken yard. They are not store-bought eggs. And let me explain why. You look at this egg. When you get these from your chicken yard, do not wash them. They have what's called a bloom on the outside. It actually covers these pores and it seals this egg up. It will seal this liquid out of this egg. If you wash this egg or use store-bought eggs, which are washed, these eggs are subject to taste like this lime and you don't need to be eating this stuff. Make sure your eggs are clean. When you're getting your eggs, make sure they're inspect them make sure they don't have any cracks in them. Clean and no cracks. Then they're ready. Pour this in here. Get yourself a ladle or some type of big spoon to use to put eggs in your container. You don't want to just throw them in the bucket. If these eggs crack, they're going to soak the solution up and they're not going to be any good. So lay it in there. Yeah, another one. So I'm going to continue to do this. Now, as you go along, when you're putting these away, as you're collecting the eggs, what you don't use, you can select the largest and prettiest eggs to put in your solution. And that way, when you get ready to use these come fall or winter time, you'll have good eggs to use in your recipes or to cook and eat. These will stay good for 12 months. I don't intend on using anything outside of 12 months, but they say, they say these could actually be preserved up to two years in the solution. But what happens over time is, is that your eggs will degrade 
and quality. Look at that egg. <laughs> Here, the whites will become a little bit runny. And see, something like this. I want to show you. I missed this earlier. See how the egg has a little bit on it? I can, with a white, or with a dry cloth, I can try to wipe this off. If it doesn't come off easy, I'm not going to wash that egg. I'm going to put this aside and I'm just going to eat this egg because I don't want any of this in that solution down there because this will promote bacteria in this solution. It's very important to make sure these are clean. So looking forward to this. When eggs went to $6 a dozen, I stopped eating eggs. If you have dirty eggs, cull them out as you put these up. If you have a floater, <laughs> floaters are not good. Your eggs should not float when you put them in the solution. That is one way that helps you determine whether or not that egg is any good. Once you fill your container up, you make sure that your eggs are covered. Take your container and put it in a dark, cool place. Inspect your eggs. No feathers and no poop. If there's any question, you can't wash a stain off or rub a stain off. Set it aside. Go ahead and eat that egg. Wait until you have a clean one to put in the bucket. So it's almost five dozen there. I'm going to make up a little bit more solution. Cover this up. And that's it, folks. I appreciate you watching. Hope to see you again. Be safe if you decide to use this. Till next time, folks.